Hi parents, this is John from LOB and thank you so much for being here. Yeah, today I want to share something about confidence versus grades. Yeah, okay. In my past years of working with students and parents, one of the things that I feel is still a big challenge for them is exam anxiety. Yeah, ultimately, any exam is like a major event in a child's life as well as in the life of the parents. Yeah, like personally for me, my child has just taken her PSLE and um, as a parent, I think it's nerve-wracking as well as also a very memorable experience when, when I learn how to support my child and also to coach my child along the way. Yeah, okay. So one of the things that, that I want to share is that how do you actually build confidence versus building up of grades. Yeah. Um again in our society, um I think it's inevitable that that we hope our children do well in school. And one of the measurements is definitely grades. Yeah. So so um there is always this this endless chase of grades of uh who is the top in the school versus who is at the bottom of the school, yeah. And whenever our children come back uh, with their test or exam papers, um, the first thing that we will ask is definitely how well you have done. That is also again measured by the numbers right on top of the, the front piece of paper. Yeah, it's in the front page, yeah. Yeah, so uh, naturally it's, it's, it's like, um, we'll be asking ourselves how well the child has done. Yeah. Um, what I feel about this is actually it creates a lot of anxiety in both parents and child. Yeah. What if our children has put in a lot of effort and and yet um the result doesn't really uh, match the amount of effort that we perceive that the child has put in. Yeah. And one of the things that that I feel that even for myself as a parent. Um, do fall into this kind of trap is the more effort I see my child puts in, the higher her grades should be. Yeah, but a lot of times, um, it is it the reality may be different from how we perceive. Yeah, so it's a perceived reality. Yeah, so so many times, uh, when my child comes back home, I will always ask her after she has set for the paper is if she feels that she has done well or she has put in uh, her best. Yeah. And if the child said yes, and normally I will just let it slide. And, and when the child comes back with the paper, what I will normally do is getting the child to uh, share with me her lessons learned rather than jumping in that, hey, actually you should have done better. Yeah. Um, and I said it with a heavy heart because as a parent with three daughters, uh, it's really not easy for us to say that because ultimately our children will still be be uh be can I say judge um or be be selected for different classes again based on their grades. Yeah. So so um it's is I would say that it's a never-ending journey that we parents have to always support our children on, not just in boosting their grades up so that they have more options, as well as also boosting their self-confidence and building up their self-esteem. Because a lot of times when the child doesn't do well, I feel that she or he um will tend to have lower self-esteem. Yeah. So so ultimately, um, is what we parents can do at home to protect the kind of uh, confidence and self-esteem of our kids. Because when they are in school, um, I feel that the self-esteem um, is inevitably packed to grades. Yeah, so, um, so right now, I know that many of us have received our children's papers um and yes uh whatever results uh 
um is whatever results is final. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, uh, even on this Friday, the kids are going to have like a, what they call results processing day. Yeah. So everything that that has been set is already cast in stone. Yeah. What is what else can be done apart from working on the academic side is I will say that first thing is also asking our child, what lesson did you learn from here? Yeah. Uh, what my child did learn, did tell me was she should have started revision earlier. Yeah. Second thing will be, um, now, um, let's rest for a period of time and then after that, you have to rework on your corrections. Yeah. It's really surprised me that that many kids don't work on the corrections and then uh, they just let it let them once okay, so what will happen is when they get back of their paper, they file it and then the file is just being chucked one side. Then they don't learn from the mistake. And and as we know, if your child is in premise five this year, the any WA or CA1 in next um in P6 will be testing them on similar concepts or content. Yeah. So if the child doesn't learn from his or her mistake, it will there'll be a higher tendency for them to repeat that mistake next year in different forms. Yeah. Okay. And then the third thing that I always advocate is celebration um of the wins. And this in and in this case, this win is very much on on the efforts put in rather than how many marks that the kids actually gotten um for their final year exam. Yeah, okay. And the intention is always very much on helping the child to remember and to repeat the behavior, which is, hey, actually mommy um, and or daddy sees my effort and I want to continue to work harder. Yeah, versus mommy or daddy only sees my grade and why should I care? Yeah, which is some common responses when I ask the kids in my class. Okay, so with this, I really hope that you have a good break. And next week is the last week of um, the school in this term. I will see you around. Okay, take care.